Go on, Diane. Show ya. Good morning. Welcome to my podcast, my project pile. Um, I really need to start learn how to make show notes because I have things that I want to talk about, but I don't know how I want to talk about them. Right, learning. Um, that's some. That's something that I need to learn. Yeah. Anyway, so. We have today, if we're going to start with the weather, we have a bit of an overcast sky. It was sunny a moment ago, but there's a cloud in front of it. So, yay! Um, not too windy, it's a bit warm. Seems like a nice weather, so maybe I'll have a walk today. Who knows? Sunday, free day, my day. Let's see. But yeah. This week has been surprisingly nice, I'm gonna say. It's been not too hard, not too easy either. This is good. So, because if, mm, if everything goes too easily, I distrust it. It's like, mm, I don't trust it, but also I, you know, it's not too hard either. So, yay. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> I'm rambling, I'm rambling once. Um, so yeah, let's get into the yarn. So, still don't have anything finished, but I'm so close, I'm so close. As for the, um, no, the cocoon cardigan. Just at, um, so I got this much done. I am just over a quarter done. So. <sighs> See, I'm a little bit itchy on the nose. I'm trying not to scratch because I want to, but I'm trying not to. So, let's talk about yarn. The, um, the cocoon cardigan. I mean, it's got a lot of ends that I'm gonna have to weave in. I'm thinking that I should probably just sit down and, like, in front of a computer, just pop in a nice video and just weave on them without thinking because then I don't have to do them all at the same time. Makes an idea. Um, yeah, the cocoon cardigan is coming along. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be such a nice, thick material. It's gonna be. Hopefully it's going to be real cozy to like pop on and just curl in. Yay! Yeah. Coming along. Uh, I am absolutely loving this basket that I bought the other day because A. It keeps these buckets from fluffing all over the floor and it's just it's nice to grab into. It's nice to just plop things back into when I'm done for the time, time being. It's also just nice to grab the basket and just plop it on the floor right next to me and I can't just not think about it. <sighs> so nice. So, another thing that, you know the other sweater, the, the um, Garden Studio Glasso Raglan Sleep? I'm not done, but I got so much done this week. I am so happy. So, I started on the uh, light orange color. I have gotten this far. Look, look. Here, are, here's the um, sleep part. This part was really interesting. Like, I have never done this. Like, I've never knitted a sweater from the top down. So. That is a first, but also a first that when you're like doing something like this, like you take off the um, for the sleeve, you take off the um, stitch for the sleeve, and then you cast on a, a two. Like that's that's a first. That was, but I managed. Like it's not perfect, but I don't care. I did it. <laughs> so yeah. And I do think that the colors are coming along real. They look real nice together. So yeah, 
makes me so happy. So if I, I am, all right. So in with the, the um, art set, I'm doing the. There are increases like every other round, four times. I've got one increase left, and then I do basically just stitching, like knitting along, and then I have to like split, like the hem of the body because the front. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the back and you get like these little slits on the sides. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be a mother first, so yay! But yeah, I got this much done! Like last week I was around just over, somewhere over here with the sleeves. I got, I got this much done! Like I may have this finished before autumn, before the first actual No, I'm not gonna go that far, but I might be able to do that. <laughs> That's so cool. But yeah. Things are coming along. That is so cool. But, you know, there's always something more to do. Because um, you, you, some of you may have seen my mini mini haul from um, Hobby. Because I fell for temptation and I broke my <laughs> yarn diet. But first, it was a sale. Okay, first up, it's a sale. That's my justification. Second, they're pretty. That's all the justification I need. Um, so I'm gonna show you. Um, 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 um. Got the Cotton Kings in Imperial Purple. I could not remember the name of the blessed yarn. I just could not remember it. If you like the information, here it is. This is hot, a gorgeous color. Just look at the colors. These are so pretty. And I definitely want to make a shawl out of this because it, I want to wrap myself into this. Like, this is. Jeez. But the main reason I broke my diet was because of, excuse me, strap. I'm being fiddly today, sorry. But, but the main reason I broke my diet was because of, um, unicorn. These pretties. A unicorn. I'm gonna let you read the label if you want to. But this is 75% marine wool and 25% 25% milk. And according to the web page on Hobby, this is hand dyed by a lady in Istanbul. And the colors, the colors, are absolutely worth it. Now, I have a bit of confession because um I do have like these. Um, hanks and I do have several other hanks like not a lot most of my yarn is in like skeins and cakes and balls and all of that I don't have a yarn spinner yeah I do not have a yarn spinner I do not have a any kind of spinner I just have my hands um, and I do like, I learned from my mother how to do, just do it like the old fashioned way. Like, if you don't have any like fancy fancy machinery, you just use your hands. You use your hop. I don't have a hobby, so uh, you know, if you have a husband, you can make use of him um, or a back of a stool or something. But um... <laughs> yeah, so I fell for the hanks because they are absolutely gorgeous. They just ah, and I want to make a sweater out of them, like something light, nice and just cozy. But I don't have a yarn spinner. Go me. But yeah. So those are future plans. I also have right. I'm I'm gonna show you. I the bag is over here. Let's see. Because um, I always have my lion brand. 
yarn right next to me because the plan is always to just grab and just start on something like a nice pretty cowl or something like but then I have like start on something like this and I'm like I'm trying not to do everything at the same time because I already have so many projects but like I have my landscapes in the volcano because can you see that one? I think you can These pretty colors, and obviously, being an Icelander, I picked Volcano because what is Iceland? Except a cluster of how many are there? Uh, I think we have what's the number? I th well, the number does feel rather dramatic with the number that's popping into my head. It feels like, are you sure there are many? But then I think, like, well. It's Iceland, there might be like... I think there's something like 300 volcanoes? Um... Is this a lot? Like, I know that Iceland has a lot of volcanoes, but are there actually that many? can't remember, but... Volcano! Because... Iceland. And I really want to make, like, a coal or something pretty out of this, because that would be... Juicy. But the main one... Um, because I really, really want to make the feather and fern, like on the library website, there's a shawl called Feather and Fern. I'm pretty certain that's the name. And I really, really want to make it out of my um, shawl and ball. I have this absolutely gorgeous color, the Nazelia. And... I want to get started on this one. But I have to finish something. Like I have the pattern, I have the yarn, I have the knitting needles on the ready. I They are ready to go, but I need to finish something before I can justify starting on this. So yeah, this is my temptation bag. It's right next to me at all times. Because I don't need anyone else to know me. I have myself to be like, yo, yo. I don't need anyone else to do that for me. I'm perfectly capable to do that. But also, oh, I managed to annoy myself a little bit just now, you know, preparing for this podcast to at least have the things to show you that I want to show you. So I don't know how long ago it was. Like two or three weeks ago, I can't remember. But I, on a previous podcast, I was talking about how I went to my local yarn store to, um, to look for a particular book. But the book wasn't available, so I went to look at the yarn, ha look at the drafts yarn that my local yarn store does have, because I was about to start on this one, and I was looking at yarn because yarn, um. The book I was talking about that I do have is this lovely little book about it has um, knitted disc cloths and has like gorgeous pictures like this and I have like all the disc cloths that I have made so far have been from this book like like this I have made this one and it's so pretty I made it in white do I have that one? can I see it? hang on yo go me this one Yeah, that's nice. There's some sun. I'll show you something white, but uh, you know, love it. I love this pattern. It was so much fun to make this one. So I absolutely adore this book. The book I was looking for is um, by the same authors by uh, Helle Benedict Nygaard. Except they, the that one has crochet this close, and they didn't have it. So. A little bit bummed out, but eh, 
Got to look at the orange so I went home. Do you want to guess what I found in my pile of books when I was pre pre preparing for this podcast? I was looking for something else that I do also have here. How do I do this? How? 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 How do I meant? How? I have the book. When did I buy it? When? I was... L it's been right next to me. Just a couple of books underneath the knitted one. I have the crochet book. <sighs> some days, some weeks, some months, I cannot have <laughs> my own brain. When did I get this? When? Because it has... I'm trying to find the... Um... Right. This picture. It's really nice overview. Because in the past weeks I've been thinking, oh, it would be so nice to have some small crochet project to do. And especially making like this cloth because I can always use this cloth. And I I have no memory of buying this book. I was looking for it at a local yarn store. You know, some days, some weeks, some months. But at least I have it, so now I, I can make something. I guess I. But as I said, I was actually looking for something else because there is. Right, so. Mm, Iceland, you know, we have Lubapisa, we have our um, traditional type of knitted wool sweaters and I'm... Um, oh, actually this one is pretty cute. This is a man's one. Right, so, start from the beginning. I'm going to show you something from this booklet. Or, um, booklet number 39 is from 2019. Um, if you can find it in English or your or your language, or to you, but like, all right. So Lova Pesa is, it doesn't, it isn't as tied down in tradition as like Norwegian sweaters. Like Norwegian sweaters, they have particular patterns that you follow. Um. And from what I've seen, there are particular colors, colors that you follow. In Icelandic Lova Pesa, it's, it's more open. Um, you knit it with a lope, or you know, Iceland wool, and the pattern is often like geometrical. Like, I'm trying to remember words, it's geometrical shapes and. Um, it is honestly ra very very open to interpretation of colors and combinations and maybe you want to try just a little bit different like wool do you want to make it out of plated wool do you want to make it out of more spun wool or uh, you know whatever do you want to uh, make it a completely like a whole pullover or do you want to make it into a with a with a buttons or a zipper or something like it is always open to interpretation um, so this and this magazine or brochure what you want to call it is very close to what is you know it's pretty traditional it's a pullover like the color is very interesting like it's a little bit different but you know like this pattern this geometric thingy very traditional, very, very, you know, something you can expect from the traditional local pizza. Um, the one that I want to make, however, I have talked to people who make, like, regularly knitting local pizza for their friends and family and themselves. Um, some, some knit to sell, like, so they are very experienced in making little pizza and most are, you know, pretty traditional. This version has made these very experienced people go hecka no, 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 no. 
I this will break my brain. This will make me hurt. This will just I would never be able to wear it. And I'm like, I want this one. I want. I want one. It's you know from these magazines from Lope. These every design has a name, and the di designer of this uh, sweater gave it the name Achtermoot, or Family Reunion. And it is brilliant because it is complete and utter chaos. Are you seeing it? It is asymmetrical. These leaves, oh, they do not quite match. And these parts, oh dear me, that is chaos. On top of that, let me show the picture from inside. Are you seeing this? It is open both in front and back. This is both such a different approach to the Lopa Pesa. It's such a... For me, it's a breath of fresh air in the Words. In the dis... Words! Help! When it comes... Comes to design the love face, and most of us just go the very traditional route. Like, you is very open, but I do not recall anyone ever doing something like this. Like, I love it. So, it has so many things going from like the colors. Okay, let's just. I mean, the simplest thing about this is the colors. These are pretty natural colors. They are like sheep colors. They're like. You can definitely find sheeps in this color. Like, there's nothing. In that respect, this sweater is, um, is very traditional. And it is very traditional. Everything about this is traditional. The patterns. Just not the combination. And I love it. Also, um, over here, this is a very, very good phrase to learn Icelandic. It's Um I'm not really sure how you would translate it into English. It basically means that things will... Oh, sun, hello. Things got very, very dark. It literally means that things will be resolved, so... Am I still recording? Yeah, things just got real, real dark. It... Tata basically means things will be resolved. Like... And it doesn't mean that, oh, if we just wait, things will just solve themselves. It means that I will work towards making it work. I will work to make it just... I will fix it. It is something of, like, a... I don't know, rallying cry, it's a motto, it's a... Yeah. Tartaratas is something that you say when you're going to make it work. Am I still recording? It just got so dark. This is gonna look so really weird on, on, on like the monitor, but... It's so dark. I don't understand it. But yeah, anyway. I want to make after mode one of these days, like, hopefully winter, maybe winter, but it's gonna be like fluffy, fluffy, like, you know, wool threads all over the place, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to wear a mask. But yeah, that's on the pile, that's on my wish list. So yeah, I'm still working on the cocoon cardigan, that's coming along nicely. I am flying along with the, um, the uh, glass of pullover, I am loving it. Found a book that I didn't know I had bought, but well, at least I surprised myself. And uh, yeah, broke my yarn diet, and I am very happy about it. <laughs> so yeah, yay! Oh, there I am. Oh, uh, lighting is so weird. Lighting is really, really weird. But, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, let's call it good now. <laughs> so yeah. I will see you later and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bless, bless.